Hello again there, YouTube fans. This is the real creepy doll man here. I'm back with an all new episode, but this is not an episode that I wanted to do. Tonight we'll be doing this episode a little different for all the fans. It is July the 22nd of 2019. Time is now 12:40 a.m. Real creepy doll man said he was going to come back to do a tribute. And pay my respects to the late Jerry Lotz. Now, as you all know, Jerry Lotz once appeared on uh, he, he once appeared on American Pickers one time on one episode, and he bought a Donald Duck bike off him. And he told me that he was not going to sell the bike for under a thousand dollars. But instead, they talk him out of for a thousand dollars, and then he got, you know, I think ripped off. Who knows what he paid for the bike back in the day? And uh, today we're gonna pay a tribute to him tonight because Jerry Lotz, I'm afraid, has passed away at the age of 80 years old. And I'm dedicating this episode to him now, from the real creepy doll man to all the fans to see this one tonight. As we pay tribute to the late Jerry Lotz. Now before we pay tribute. Let me go follow back. That in time that he once knew my aunt. Aunt Marion. Now he dated her for a short time. But there were some problems and uh, complications. With their relationship. Because my aunt always used to drink a lot. And uh, I think that's what caused problems with the relationship. He was dating her at the time, and I didn't know him too well. And later down the road, after she passed on, uh, our, tr our fate hadn't twined again until probably before I lost my job. And this is way, probably way before I lost my job that uh, I met him before. I think this was back after I lost my job in two, uh, August the 5th of 2010. It was sometime after that. Probably a few months, probably about a year after that, I got to meet him for the first time. And we talk about, you know, he told me at one time before he had his dementia to take his mind, he told me that he was dating my aunt at the time. And, uh, you know, it's kind of sad to say that he told me this before she died. It's too bad he couldn't get her to stop drinking because that's what killed her. She had psoriasis of the liver that killed her many years ago and I didn't know that and he kind of remember that and it's sad to say he couldn't do anything to save her but I'm decided to do this our fate twine Ian Fowler we got to know each other for a very little short time and I knew the man for a very short time he did me one favor after I lost my job he helped buy a few of my items that I had that I was selling to get rid of that I couldn't have you know because I had no place for it and he bought one of my Darth Vader outfits. I paid over $1,000 for it. And he gave me $800 in money in cash. And he bought a few other items off me in the past too. My belt and two of my Kiss dolls. So I, I, I thank him very much for helping me out. And I show my respect to him. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have a little money today. And I give him thanks and pay my respect to him. Despite he has died now. Uh, Jerry Lotz was born on August, no he wasn't born on August, he was born on July the 7th of 1939. He died on July the 15th of 2019. He died at 80 years old, which I didn't put on here on the paper. He died at 80 years old. He did celebrate his birthday a week before that and he passed on. Now I didn't know this. If I would knew this, I wouldn't have went up to see him sooner before he died. But it was too late. And uh, I've been having complications and problems with my own life as well. As well as the family give me crap. But I decided to dedicate this episode to him today. Now, I'm going to show you something that I had decided to do. I'm bringing back all four of the dolls that were ones owned by Jerry Lotz. And this is from his private collection. As I show you all of them. You'd be stunned that the real creepy doll man now owns four of history. 
of the uh, Jerry Lott's private collection of his dolls, and he had other antiques he had. Who knows where they'll go to after he's now passed on. But as I go back around the room, I'll now show you these four. Now, I'm going to explain something about this one first. His daughter, Sherry Lotts. I met her for the first time a couple times. And the last time she had a yard sale, and I didn't know this, I went into the house that he had owned on 144 William Street here in Louisville, Kentucky. I decided to go over there and look at it. And she had this doll. She let me have one item out of the whole house. She told me I could have whatever I want. And she gave me this doll exactly. I have took this doll and brought it in. But that didn't stop there. I have bought three other dolls that I had to borrow money for to get them. And I have them here in my collection as well. I have also a PB Herman doll that was owned by Jerry Lotts. I have two of his Barbies that were owned by Jerry Lotts as well. So these are his four private, I uh, should say his, his four, uh, four little collections, I would say. Or you can say he was a, a private collector into different things. He owned a lot of things before his death. And he liked the big stuff. And what I mean when he liked the big stuff, he owned big, you know, statues, big everything. Uh, if it wasn't a statue, it was sort of like a prop piece or, you know, some piece of history. He owned a caboose as well at one time. But I decided to bring them all back for this reason in this shot as you see them now. These are all for the dolls that were once owned by Jerry Lotts. Now they're all owned by the real creepy doll man personally in his own collection and as we go back around the room <clears throat> I decided to do this I wanted to do it with song but you know I don't think you know YouTube will allow that to happen you know how YouTube is because they got this goofy ordeal that you have to have you know uh, you gotta have you know copyrights and all that crap but I decided to do this without you know music because I'm sometimes off key anyway I decided to go back and shoot this one to pay my late respect to Jerry Lotts. Now, like I said, he did pass away before his birth. It was after his birthday he passed away, and he was 80 years old when he died. And I'll show you the ordeal again. Now, if you didn't see it earlier, I'll show one last time when he was born and when he died. So carefully look at this because it's the last time you see that. You will not see the real creepy doll man do another dedication and also another tribute video unless something else happens. This is the only first tribute video I've made. So I decided to bring this one here for reason. As we pay our respect to Jerry Lotts one last time. And I said this that, you know, it's, it was grateful to meet him for a short time. A lot of other people around the world have probably met him too. And we gotta go back and pay our respects to him for one last time. This is the real creepy doll man said to all the fans out there. If you like these videos, please subscribe today to see further new episodes that come from the real creepy doll man. When you subscribe, make sure you ring the ring that bell in order to show the respect and your support to the real creepy doll man's calls. And this is the real creepy doll man saying there will be new videos for this month despite this is ordeal has happened. I will still do the videos despite how I feel. I got tore up by this, you know, know that he died. It, it, it kind of hit me, you know. Uh, I got the news like early today and it, it, it did hit me in a way. So I decided to do a tribute video to the, the late Jerry Lotts. And I hope you like this video. If you do, it, hopefully I'll never have to do another tribute video again. But if I do, You'll be the first to know. This is the real creepy doll man saying to all the fans out there, goodbye, and God bless you all.